week away. And if you're looking for something a little different, why not try a little signature cocktail for your loved one? And this one really will be a signature. Bartender Alex Stiles has helped to come up with a few ideas using uh, the cult classic drink, L8. And for us old timers, L81. Yes. L81. <laughs> just uh, shortened to L8 for the purposes here. Uh, and, and for people who are not familiar with this, because it's been around since 1926. Yes, sir. But for the bulk of its existence, it was only available across uh, e uh, Eastern and Central Kentucky, right? Yes, sir. Yep. This yeah. is yeah. This is a big deal. We're we're trying to go national here. Uh, trying to and, get a light yeah, going and, everywhere. And, and now that you you've uh, tried to expand the distribution for your classic, which is the ginger, yes, uh, yeah. the ginger yes. uh, flavor there. Uh, you've got the, uh, caffeine free and, and diet. And I think now. diet, yes. But you introduced cherry. For, this is the first flavor to come from L.A. in 92 years. Yeah. So yeah. this is a big deal, and it's. It's getting it's it's a, it's going to be a cult classic as well. Everyone's really loving the cherry. Yeah, oh, part of it is it's kind of like Pappy uh, in that <laughs> in, in that the, you know the scarcity makes it everybody w wants it. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, we're going to get into the, the drinks in just a minute because yeah, I know fine. you want to. But when I first I first came here in 1983, I was a Northern Kentucky reporter. And uh, the guy who I work with was born and bred Kentucky from Carlisle, Kentucky. He used to talk about LA one all the time. And he talked about it so much I did a story down there. So, <laughs> but anyway, amazing. now that it's here, and, and one way to kind of introduce uh, uh, Cherry and I guess the LA one is mm -hmm. uh, uh, cocktails. That's a way to make friends, right? <laughs> Always, okay. absolutely. Um, so bartenders in Kentucky have used the classic L8 to mix with bourbon as long as I can remember. L8 says it's sure. the original bourbon mixer. I mean, it's way better than any ginger ale, you know. Yeah, but you yeah, are, L8 you, bourbon. You, but you, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing something different. Just um, for Valentine's just Day. Just for Valentine's Day. Okay. We're going to stay away from the bourbon. We're going to go with some flavored vodkas. Okay, let's uh, show, so, tell us what you're going to do. So we're going to start off with a champagne flute because Valentine's Day. Um, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of vanilla vodka. That's flavored um, as well. Flavored, yep. So I do, it's about an ounce and a half. Um, I'm just going to freehand here. Do about a tablespoon of strawberry puree. And then you're going to add Ooh. in some Ooh. chocolate bitters, Whoa. which are very easy to find. There's oh. bitters of all flavors That's around. Like the, uh, the, the chocolate covered strawberry kind of thing Ex going on? Exactly. You oh, see okay. where I'm heading? See I where know I'm exactly heading? where you're going. <laughs> and then you're going to start off ideally with a cold uh, cherry L8 because you do not want to put ice in your champagne flute. And this is very much like a chocolate covered strawberry. This is one of my favorite cocktails I've made with LA. Now, now there's not a whole lot of, at least in the original, there's not mm -hmm. a whole lot of carbonation uh, no. in, in, in LA. Does that help or hinder or? Eh, it's <laughs> it, it just I just can't explain to you how, how good LA is as a mixer of all kinds. It, it doesn't. Uh, I don't know. It just it just works. It just, it just works. works. You just have to try it. You okay. just have to try it. Okay, now you got another one. I do have show another us? one real quick. Yep, so you're going to start off with some raspberry vodka and okay. a pint glass full of ice, ideally. Another, just about a shot glass of that. Do a cranberry pomegranate juice. Okay. Easily to find at the stores. It's about four ounces. I love this. You freehands all yeah. this, too. You <laughs> yeah. know? I've been doing this a while. Oh, okay. And then you just top off um, about half of your glass with classic L8. Okay. And then garnish it with some raspberries to make it very special for Valentine's Day, and it's that easy. It looks good, and I know that it tastes excellent and that sort of thing. As far as uh, cherry-flavored uh, mm -hmm. uh, L8, uh, uh, it's going to be widely available? Yes, yes, at uh, Kroger's and IGA stores here in the city. All right, Alex, thank you so much for coming up with some uh, ideas for Valentine's Day. Thanks.